Ever since the release of the Galaxy Note 9, all of the Samsung Galaxy S and Note series will work with DeX without having any proprietary talk. Today here we have a few myths to debunk. So one of that is, does the new Galaxy S10 series support DeX? We have all three of them here, the Galaxy S10 Plus, S10, and also S10e. And we also have one of these MacBook Pro dock, which we revealed sometime before. I'll leave a link down below. This video we will split into two sections. The first one we'll be playing with Office and also Google Docs and all those stuff. Second part will be gaming. If you just want to skip to gaming, then click on this time right here, and then you will head on over to that part. So without further ado, let us begin. First things first, how to set it up. Uh, it's actually quite simple. You can have a direct USB-C to HDMI cable and it works right away. But we want all the USB ports behind here, so that's why we're using this. Then, our first candidate will of course be the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. So we just plug it in. The S10 Plus obviously works with DeX. Next up, S10. And we are here to show you that the S10 also works right away. And lastly, the Galaxy S10e. A lot of people have been asking me in the comments section, does it actually work with DeX? And I'm here to debunk the myth that yes, it does. Let's just plug in the cable. Wait for a while since this monitor is kind of slow. And it works. DeX is here on the Galaxy S10e. Firstly, let me show you the Microsoft suite of software. We start off with Office, so let us just launch Office. Click on blank document. Unfortunately, we will need an active Office 365 subscription, with, which I don't have. You can get a 30-day free trial from this software, but I'm not going to use that. So I'm just hopping on to Google's suite instead. So let's just, just launch Google Docs. This is one of the templates. Fortunately or unfortunately, you can maximize into full screen and then you can click here to edit. This is where part of it starts to fall off. You have to click and drag to scroll down. This is only on Google Docs, by the way. It works properly on Google Sheets and also, what was that again, Google Slides. Let me just show you a few keyboard shortcuts right here. You can still use Control key, skip words, and also hold shift to select. You can unhold the control button and start selecting control x to cut control v to paste then you also have control c v to paste control z to undo and whatnot and control y to redo so all of these shortcuts are actually similar to what you have on windows pc a few things which i think samsung can improve is that the print screen function you can press the print screen key here to take a screenshot but it does not copy to the clipboard. So right here, let me just show you a new paragraph. I cannot paste the image that has just been taken via screenshot. Um, that is quite unfortunate. And the only way you can add an image is by clicking here, image, photos, and click this one to paste, not paste, to add. You can take a partial screenshot, but it's a bit more annoying. You have to go down here, right click, take a partial screenshot and draw one here. And then you can add a new paragraph. Once again, browse the image from photos and paste there. Unfortunately, once more time, uh, you cannot drag and drop pictures from app to app. So for example, if I have gallery open there, camera, I cannot drag the picture to another app. That might be a Google limitation in terms of how Android works, but uh, I do wish, you know, Samsung would improve on DeX to make it more user-friendly in terms of flow of work. Of course, in Samsung DeX mode, you can open, here I have Google Docs, I can open Google Sheets and also Google Slides all three at the same time and I can just open all these kind of templates which are prepared by Google themselves and for Google Sheets, it actually works, the scroll wheel works unlike on Google Docs. Um, unfortunately, you cannot zoom so yeah, that's a bit of a problem if you have a very big screen 
And as for the Google Slides, I think this is the one that works very well on Dex. You can scroll on the on the slides here and then you can also click play present on this device and it will maximize to a full screen which you can just click and go to the next slide very handy so most of the apps here actually work differently in DeX it, it has a very different UI so let me just show you a few of the apps which are officially supported by Samsung DeX for example Spotify when you click here you will have this very desktop ish looking kind of interface and you can click play I don't have a speaker now but it's playing something and some of the apps which are not really that supported by Samsung DeX like Facebook when you click on Facebook you will have a very weird interface kind of looks like your desktop version a lot of weird unused spaces it's kind of like a enlarged mobile version so yeah and if you click to my files this is an official Samsung app of course and you can see the interface also changed to become more tablet-like a few more things to highlight is that at the bottom right corner you have all your time, date, whatever even your notification, your phone status uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Torch, blah 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 everything is there you can also select which audio output you want to use so right here I'm using audio output on this thing this thing has a 3.5mm headphone jack if you don't have Samsung DeX with uh, any docks with keyboard and mouse you can also use your phone as a trackpad so just go onto your phone roll down the notification tap on using it as a trackpad so your phone will become a trackpad and here we go this is a phone trackpad not my ideal way of navigating through a desktop like environment but well it works as for the gaming part of the Samsung Galaxy S10 series with DeX, I'm just going to use the S10e because I think this phone is very affordable yet very powerful with unexplained or untapped performance on the DeX mode as well. So let me just show you once again, plug it in and it works right away. To start gaming on DeX, the first thing you need to do is head on over to the bottom left corner, click on this DeX and then go DeX Labs. Enable Force App to resize. This is very important because if you don't have this option enabled, some of the games will not even launch on DeX. Then I will go to Game Launcher and I have quite a few games installed right here. And I will list for you what game works and what game does not work on DeX. Some of the game actually works natively on DeX. Some of them work partially, some of them just launches but does nothing special with keyboard and mouse and some of them don't even launch at all. So let us just focus on the games that work for now. First game we are going to try is um, let's just try Vainglory. This game is actually one of the first games that work with DeX, fully supported and actually made for DeX. So right here at the top click on this window maximize you will need to restart your app so yeah and let's just click play I am just going to demonstrate a quick round click on practice and uh, let's just select this cute bunny uh, why not there is a highlighted number one which I press one here it just triggers everything so I'm at level 12 now just going to skip everything to show you how it works so all the skills are also mapped to your keyboard QWE which is skill number 1, 2, 3 D for your healing potion F for your sentry ward uh, I'm not sure what's it called on Vain Glory, but it works the same way as Dota and this is the true full display gaming I mean it's on this big screen right here and then you can just use your keyboard and mouse with full native support the next game I want to show you is Ashpot 9. Let's head on to the settings menu and you can see that the controls are actually keyboard touch drive and ASD keys is your main navigation, spacebar to nitro and your arrow keys does the same thing as ASD keys, press C to toggle your camera and whatnot. Once again full keyboard support so I'm just going to use ASD and spacebar to play this. Nitro, Drift, and 
Nitro once again. Spin. Crash on the police. Oh, oh! So let's just go to the next game which is uh, Autos Odyssey and also Autos Adventure. This is a simple tap game but well it's fully supported by Samsung Dex as well. You can launch it in this full screen display and for this game you only use your mouse which your left click is the most important thing. Click and hold to do the black flip and click once to jump. It's a fairly simple game. The next game here is Bomb Squad which is a two-player game and it has also full support for keyboard. So I would need to summon one more person here to play. Come. <laughs> so for Bomb Squad, first of all, we need to go to settings, go to controllers and configure keyboard. These are your keys. Player 2, I am using arrow keys and also number pad. TD, punch them. Those are just a few games that works with Samsung DeX right out of the box, but um, those are only cherry picked. So we also installed a lot of games that does not actually work with Samsung DeX. For example, uh, let's just see what we have here. PUBG Mobile. Surprisingly, the WASD keys do work. You can walk around, but other than that, none of it works. And then we also have uh, games that actually launch in full screen mode, but there are no keyboard or mouse controls like Mobile Legends, Contra Returns, Honkai Impact 3, and both of the Injustice games that I have installed here. So there are also two games which are totally unsupported by DEX. You cannot even launch it in DEX mode, which is Fortnite Mobile and also Brawl Stars. Um, it's kind of understandable for Fortnite to not work on DEX because if you have a keyboard and mouse and you're playing against mobile players, that's kind of unfair. So yeah, this I can understand. But Brawl Stars, no idea. There are some games that actually works with a gamepad so you can actually attach Samsung DeX and then you can also play your games while you're sitting way at the back with your couch or whatever and uh, you can use a gamepad like this, this MSI GC30 and some of the games that are officially supported are Ashpot 9, Contra Returns and also Bomb Squad. So these three games, they support gamepad right out of the box but uh, you might want to have a wireless mouse since most of these games actually support gamepad for gameplay only but not for menu navigation. So now that I have showed you Galaxy S10 series with DeX mode and also gaming on it, um, do let me know what you think about these three phones in terms of DeX. Will you use it? Uh, since there are no requirements for proprietary docks anymore and I'm quite surprised that the Galaxy S10e has all the features of the S10 and also S10 Plus with full DeX support and also full flagship level gaming because once again all these three have the same specs it's just the difference of screen size and battery camera and yeah that's pretty much it these three are very powerful smartphones and of course they are feature packed i kind of can see why samsung didn't really highlight samsung decks on stage because of the lack of time and also there are just way too many features on these phones which is why we are doing this video to show you that DeX does indeed work on all of these three phones, including the S10e. So that's all for today's video. I hope this is informative for you. And yeah, do let us know what you think of all of these phones and also Samsung DeX and especially gaming on DeX. And we will see you in the next video. Bye!